What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Chef Live A Restaurant Simulator And today is episode 2 Last time we left off we learned and perfected the beef uh, frit dish Which is basically a beef steak, uh, fried shallots, fried uh, french fries or chips And of course a little sauce on it So in this episode we're going to learn two more dishes Or maybe one more dish depending how long it goes I'm aiming for at least 30 minute plus episodes so we're gonna see how long it actually takes us so with that being said guys um, if you are new of course to follow the channel and also subscribe to my youtube channel guys so let's let's carry on from where we were um, continue Hey, talk to your associate, Kasim. The dining room is ready. I've set up all the furniture and since our grand opening is in two days, it's the perfect time to brush up on the basics before the big day. Hello, anybody here? So you're the ones opening the new restaurant. I'm Max. Welcome to our city. We'll see each other a lot. I'm sure I do. I'm sure I do the deliveries for all the produce suppliers around here. I also take the order, so we'll be talking often too. I'm looking forward to it. But before I go, I've got some leftover stock from a previous delivery, so I thought I'd just leave it with you. But not a word to my boss, okay? Uh, consider it a gift. I'll leave you with my number. Uh, good luck with everything, I'll see you around. Wait, the delivery girl gave us free produce? That's amazing, we'll have to thank her somehow. Uh, take a look at the research table, see if those ingredients can be used in any new recipes. So, new contact, Max. Uh, you have met Max, who is in charge of deliveries for your restaurant. She will sometimes drop by to let you know about the discounts offered by your suppliers. So, um, we are going to learn two new dishes we have a caprice and basil which i'm guessing is a salad um because caprice i know we always do it with a carpaccio but i don't know if this is gonna have meat on it and then learn the recipe for sole marinara and green beans so let's begin Use the research table to learn new recipes by spending KP knowledge points. You can unlock brand new recipes. These points are earned each time you cook a dish. Keep in mind that the higher the grade you receive for the dishes, the more knowledge points you earn. Um, recipe levels. The recipes are categorized by level from basic meals to sophisticated dishes. The more sophisticated recipes will become available as you level up. They are more complicated to make but allow you to earn more money. Upgrading recipes. The recipes you already own can also be developed into higher level dishes. If you prepare a dish enough times, you can unlock the ability to improve its level. Use the recipe book to unlock it. Okay, so currently, casual cuisine. So we don't have these two, but we have sol marinara and green beans and a caprice. Caprice, that looks like mushrooms, tomato and basil basically. Um, and restaurant cuisine is the fancy stuff I'm guessing that we're getting into. So we will we have a lot to unlock. We're gonna probably do a lot of them. We have pizzas. I can unlock this now. I only have two knowledge points, so let's save our knowledge points. Let's not use it now with DLC items. When the time comes in the points for game where the DLC was added, we'll use these DLC items. Um Two warming. Oh, so you can get two stoves. So you unlock more equipment as well. Okay, cool. So we have two KP, which we're gonna probably spend on these two. So we have the Caprice and a Basil, which we're going to. How do I learn this? Hold on, X. Unlock recipe. You have unlocked the recipe for Caprice and Basil. Uh, you need to make it at least once before you can add it to your menu. New ingredients unlocked. These ingredients are now available on your shelves. So I need new cookware added. So that looks like flour. So 
some sort of jus maybe um, or balsamic vinegar it's a capri so it's probably balsamic vinegar we have basil tomato mushroom okay interesting and then we have this one soul marinara and green beans uh, you've unlocked a new recipe for soul marinara and green beans you'll need to make it at least once to freaking add it to your menu um, so we have the fish we have I'm guessing that's flour we have the green beans um, the marinara wine and my battery is low um, I don't know what that other thing is could that possibly be butter or lemon okay so learn your new recipes so I guess we're gonna start with one so um, beef and potatoes is what the first one was called uh, shit I called it by its actual name beef and fr uh, beef fritter let me just write this down because I want to name the episodes the dishes we're making and I want to actually name it what they are in game and not what the fancy names are for it in the fine dining restaurant so episode one is beef and potatoes um, episode two which is this episode uh, Caprice and Basil and we will see if I do the Soul Marinara M -A -L -M -E -U N I E R E and green beans in this episode or if we'll make an episode 3 and do that so um, let me just put my phone back in charge because it is currently dying okay cool so let's start with the caprice and basil so I can put both of them let's focus on the caprice and basil though first we're gonna take it slow we're gonna learn these properly and let's see where it goes from there uh, Caprice this is casual cuisine so it says make balsamic cream okay so that's cream then that image is cream so make balsamic cream uh, cooking range saucepan sugar glass of balsamic vinegar and balsamic cream uh, storage once perhaps you can prepare the dish beforehand and keep it in the refrigerator so what I am seeing is we can prepare a bunch of things and just keep it in the refrigerator which makes it great. The only problem I have is how much space is there in the refrigerator. So cooking details start. Um, cooking tips avoid heat too high. Remember to stir the food. So are we going to have to turn the heat on and off maybe? Um, okay, step two. Make tomatoes, mozzarella, uh, mozzarella uh, and balsamic. Okay, so that's mozzarella, not mushrooms. It looks like a damn mushroom. So we need chopping board, mozzarella tomato, and slice mozzarella tomato slices. Uh, storage one prepped. You can prepare this dish beforehand and keep it in the refrigerator. Uh, mixing table. That's the new table we saw in the last episode. Uh, tomato slices, slice mozzarella, balsamic cream. Um, tomatoes, mozzarella, and balsamic cream to make the full dish. Storage one prepped. You can prepare the dish and keep it in the fridge. It is a caprice. So I'm happy that I can do that. Cooking tips, bonus, possible, perfectly seasoned. Now it is showing me one spice. So I don't think that is salt or pepper. It could be something else. So we are going to find out. Um, let's check out the spice rack. So again, it is only salt and pepper we have, but it wants only salt so we're gonna take a how do I take away now and I, I don't know how to unequip anyway we just need to use salt so let's get ready to make the salad so we need the mozzarella the tomato the basil so is this breads or cheeses no this is so we need the sugar we need that um, okay, that is butter. Uh, we've got mozzarella. Okay, 
be cool. Um, from here. Okay, it's actually showing me what I need. That's great. I don't think I need anything there. So, we got all the ingredients. Um, before, okay, we need to make the balsamic cream first. I was going to chop everything up and get it ready. However, that is fine. So, let's get saucepan. Let's get the saucepan on. Cooking range. Uh, we're going to add these two things. We're going to add the heat up. And we're going to start this up. So I'm guessing L1 would probably be to stir as well. Stir is L2. Some foods can stick to the pan. Make sure to stir occasionally to prevent this from happening. Yeah. I'm not sure how many times you have to stir it. We'll give it five seconds and stir. Five seconds is a bit too much, but... It's alright. Do I have a range thing? No, I don't. Oh, my camera is blocking the stir point thing. Okay, maybe I need to move my camera to the bottom section, considering it's just R1 to bring that power up. I can't pause while in this menu, though. So let's just do that quickly. I'm just going to pause this and move my camera real quick. Um, camera, move camera display. Because at the bottom right, it just, it's how to turn on the deep fryer, the, the ovens and all that shit, which is R1, so it's simple. Okay, um, use. So I can see stir is boiling up, so we can leave it quite a bit to get in there, so that is fine. This was flour and balsamic. God damn. Now oh, that's gonna taste. I, I'm sorry, I hate flour and balsamic. I prefer using balsamic uh, brown sugar and cream because it tastes much better than just mixing it with flour. You don't get that like floury raw taste with it. Okay, so we got that. Um, let's take the saucepan. Let's wash it up. Uh, we need to make tomato slices and uh, mozzarella slices. Cool. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna choose the mozzarella and the tomatoes and we're gonna start slicing it. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Um, Okay, so we sliced the mozzarella, we sliced the uh, tomatoes, and now we need to make it. So, I'm guessing we go over here. And we start. Okay. Oh, fuck me, that looks horrible. Okay, and then make a piece and bezel. Wait, what? Am I supposed to put it here? No? Maybe here? Where the hell do I make it at the main station? Yeah, okay, it's the main station. So we got the caprice, we got the basil. I want to change the plating of this, maybe. I don't really like how the thing is drizzled on the top. Okay, you can't see it drizzled on the top, but... Um... Redo plating, please. I feel... 
this is a much deeper dish. I feel this one would be nicer because the black will bring out the colors. Um, can't use any of these. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, this this could work out really nice, I think. Um, put that over there. Okay, so I can't have the mozzarella on its own. It's kind of weird, but that is the whole thing done on its own. So we could do this. Or we could put it to the side like this. No, 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 no. Let's put it in the middle. That would be better. Cool. Uh, we got the balsamic sauce. This does have the basil in it, so... Which is a problem. Um, so... Okay, I still need to put the basil on. This is so huge though, I like hate it. Really? How do I... Ah. Okay, that's fine. The bezel can stay in the corner. Ah. Uh... I thought this would count as bezel, but it's not. It's instead leaving it for its own. I wish I could put a saucepan. I honestly do. So how is a sauce? Holy shit. That's a bit too much. I wish I could put it in like a little jug. How much does it want me to pour? Holy crap, it does want quite a bit. Wants quite a bit. Okay. Um. Oh, I can change the bezel. That's that. That's a game changer. That's a game changer. Oh shit. Oh, I can do it with the bezel. So why did it take it away the first time then? That makes it this Okay, this thing makes no I want I need to make sure it is perfect in the middle. I need to have that distance on both sides. Okay, so it does want more. That's the problem. So what I can do is... I probably have to put the big one in. If I can just get it to stick on here. Maybe if I put it this way. I don't know how we can go lower and put it down, but apparently that doesn't work. Just do this properly yet again. This is the one I wanted to put the balsamic in, but apparently I can't. Ah, uh, so if I do this, I still need more basil. It actually shows. Okay, that's fine. But you know what I could do? 
We could put the sun in the middle like this. Then... Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to put two of that because that would be a bit too much. Okay, now let's leave that. Um, I have to figure out how to... Maybe the leaf can stay on top. Haha! <laughs> we got the leaf to stay on top. Uh, okay, now... Balsamic. I think that looks much better than it was. It's much more elegant. It's the other plating, it is not straight. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Let's put the balsamic first. Trying to like get it minimum. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, now I'll be able to see. On my camera angle. It is. Oh, it looks about perfect. And then my little leafy friend. Just to bring some color to it. I want it slap dab in the middle. That could work. Or maybe. Now that doesn't work. Could I maybe put it. Ah, okay. I'll put it on top. Okay, that seems. Better. Okay. Yeah. Um, we do not want a shit stain on the plate. That's a big one. I don't think I need time on here. Time could give a nice little aroma to the sauce. So we'll just put it in there. Actually, no, I think it's fine like that. That that's perfect the way it looks. The balsamic could be, I could have used this green thing, the balsamic could be put in like a small little area. Okay, I think that's fine. I, I think that looks much, much better than it did before. It's perfectly placed in the middle. You got the height. You got the garnish, you got the different colors, and you got the balsamic at the bottom. I think that's great. Way, way, way better than what the than the shit it used to look like. Um, use this plating. Nice. Okay, cool. New recipe learned. Congratulations, you have learned the recipe for caprice and basil. Uh, you can now add it to your menu. You can also plate this dish from your recipe book. Yeah, that is cool. So we have one more to learn. Well, that is fine. That was a decent 
plating going on. Um, so we can unpin this. So the more times you make it, the more it upgrades, basically. Um, so how's the beef and potatoes? Okay, beef and potatoes is still normal. The priest is fine as well. Um, uh, we'll do that when we open for day one. Okay, so it's just the soul marinara we have. Um, let's just take a look around in case anything has changed. Fire alarm is still the same. Um, casino is still there. Restaurant is still looking like shit. This door is still closed. And this door is also still closed. Okay, um... I think we did some decent progress in learning this recipe. I would say. And bomb, just in a second. Just need to bring up Twitch. My chitch is giving me problems all of a sudden. I need to see how long this damn stream has been going for. 27 minutes. Not bad. Um, let's just double check while I'm here. Um, the steak and shallots. No, not the steak and shallots. The grease and bezel is fine. Um, so it says I could keep it in the fridge, however, I don't see the refrigerator besides this two things. So maybe down the line when we actually open, we're gonna get a refrigerator. I don't think I switched the stove off. That is all good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we are going to make the next dish. I was going to do it in a separate episode, or maybe I should do it in a separate episode, considering we're hitting the 30 minute mark soon. So let's just take a look at these, just again to get used to the stuff. Um, so there is bonuses, I'm just realizing that now. So, flip the food bonus possible perfectly seasoned. Um, the bonus on this one is also perfectly seasoned. I don't think I seasoned the balsamic when we first made it. I forgot to season it because I thought it was going to tell me to season it. Um, and then of course the summer and hour we'll get into the next episode that also has the bonus of possibly seeded with water. Um, yeah. I think with that being said guys, we're gonna bring this episode to a close. If you're watching on Twitch, I will start a new episode directly after so we can make our new recipe. If you are... Uh, watching this on YouTube Then of course you're only gonna see this the next episode a day after so as always um, Thanks for watching 
uh, follow if you're new and also subscribe to the Twitch channel and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel sorry uh, every little bit helps so with that being said guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time where we will do our soul with the marinara and green beans take care